All right, what's up, you guys? Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mommy. Go, Sam. Go, big girl. What's up? Go, big girl. Look at you. Look at you, girl. Today I'm going to be talking about breastfeeding, how I increase my supply, just my whole journey. And I want to start by saying that if I got on camera and said that breastfeeding was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, that would be a lie. If I got on camera and said, oh, I increased my milk supply by just using these two products, that would be a lie. And if I got on camera and said, oh, this is going to work for everybody, that is a lie. So... This is my reason, this is my blessing, and this is my mommy's baby. As you guys know, I, um, or if you didn't know, I conceived via IVF and that process wasn't easy. And also, I had an emergency C-section that was completely unexpected, not easy either. Like, regardless of how things look on camera, it is not easy. Motherhood, not easy. But am I loving it? Of course. So, breastfeeding. I knew from day one, like even before I became a mother, that breastfeeding was something that I wanted to do simply because of the benefits. And I'm not gonna even get on camera and sit here and try to bash formula or formula fed babies. Like at the end of the day, as long as your baby is fed, that's all that matters. But just my own personal reasons, like I felt like the benefits outweighed everything else. Like I wouldn't say I was depressed about it because I wasn't depressed, but I was very worried. I was very concerned that I was not going to be able to make milk. And I had to realize that everybody is not naturally a milk making cow mama. Like that's just not possible. That's just not going to happen. Sometimes you're going to make just enough for what the baby needs. Sometimes you could have enough to feed the baby if you have a little bit left over. Like everybody's scenarios are different. She is exclusively breastfed. <laughs> The bottles that we do use for her is the Tommy TP um, bottles, and they're really, really good. At first, I was using Avent, Avent, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I am not a freaking just pronunciation master. So if I pronounce something wrong, don't get down in the comments and try to correct me because this is not what that video is about. So before I gave birth, I had signed up for a breastfeeding class. The breastfeeding class was literally the weekend before I gave birth. This was an unexpected C-section. It was an emergency C-section because her life was in danger. During my breastfeeding class, the lactation instructor let us know that typically moms that go through a C-section, they have a harder time with breastfeeding. When you naturally give birth, immediately after that, they do skin to skin with you. And that triggers something in your body and in your brain for your milk to start coming in. However, with the C-section, you have to wait until all of the anesthesia that wears off and you can start to feel your body again. You can move, you can walk on your own. And that just takes hours. So after your body has already went through the birthing process and you have to wait all of those hours, it's just harder for moms who got C-sections to start their milk supply. But what I did do, left from out of my C-section and they took me to my room, I did start pumping. Like I immediately started pumping. And of course your milk supply is not just gonna boom, come in just because you had a baby. Like it takes, a, it takes time. So the first two days she was in the NICU, they did give her formula and my heart was so broken. That was my motivation right there to get my milk supply going because I was just like, no, 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 this is not going to work. I was power pumping. I was doing skin to skin. I was doing all of that. 
and it was just um, still slow. It was still slowly coming in. It was coming in, but it was still slow. I started to drink this and also at the hospital, my nurses was bringing me like just regular tea, like regular Lipton tea. And I want to say that helped as well. You also just want to stay hydrated and eat a lot of food. But when I ate them lactation cookies and I took them liquid gold pills, oh, oh my gosh, my milk supply was like, boom, I'm here, girl. In the beginning, that is what worked for me. However, as time went by and she started to grow and she needed more milk and I realized that she was really fussy and hungry sometimes. What, girl? What you got to say? What you want to say, girl? And I realized, like, you know, she needed more milk. My milk supply was not decreasing. It was just that since she was eating more, I needed to produce more. If it wasn't for my auntie, I would have definitely given up because it's easier when you learn from somebody with experience and when you're just doing it on your own trying to figure it out on your own things just don't work out that way so when she was in the NICU I just got to that point and I was like you know what like this is too hard da, da, da. maybe I should just do formula and then my auntie she showed me she was like no don't give up and just letting me know like even with her own story that she had to you know use supplements as well to help her produce milk and i never knew about these things like i just thought that your body is just supposed to produce milk and that's just how that went so many women out there especially like on my other platform so that's why i'm making this video for all my breastfeeding mamas out there or potentially going to be breastfeeding and you're about to give birth and you want to know all of the things about breastfeeding as you can see, I have a whole collection here of things that I have purchased. My baby girl is nine weeks now. So in nine weeks, these are all of the things we have purchased. The first two things that I did try was the liquid gold and the lactation cookies. These are made by Munchkin. You can get them at Target. You can get them from Publix. Um, you can get them on Amazon and maybe you could go directly to their website. I've never tried that before because it was just like an emergency and I needed them right then and there. So my boyfriend went to Target for me and got them or Publix. So I don't know if it was just me wanting it to work so bad or they were actually working. These are really, really good. Now for other people, they may, they may not. Like this was just a learning experience. When I first started this video, I told y'all, if I said, oh yeah, these are going to work for you, that is, that's just a lie. Like, you don't know. So you have to be willing to go through these processes if things just don't end up working. That doesn't mean, oh, I can't produce the milk because, oh, Erica J says she got them cookies and they work for her. You know, just because I say that these things work for me don't mean that they're going to work for you. And even if they don't work for you, there are other alternatives out there, which is what I had to learn. And that's why I have all this stuff. So that's why I wanted to make this video because I don't want y'all to ever think like when y'all see my posts and y'all see me pumping milk and y'all see me talking about breastfeeding that it was just ever an easy process like no. And also besides the cookies, I did start to eat these Cheez-Its type of chips, these Cheez-Its type of snacks and they're really, really good as well. But since she's growing, I need more of a supply. When a baby is first born, don't ever feel like you have to have so much milk coming in at that moment because babies' stomachs are literally so small that they only need just enough. And like the first 24 hours, your baby is sleeping a lot. Even after those 24 hours, your baby is sleeping a lot. Like, so you have time to, you know, start producing that milk. And I do have a milk stash that I'm still building but I plan to have like just tons of milk made just for emergencies when she starts eating solids she still has milk she can um you know use start drinking out of bottles sippy cups also when I start to make her foods like I have a puree um machine a baby bullet and I'm going to make her food freshly I'm not going to buy any food out of the jar out of the stores 
So once I start to do those things, I'm going to make her some cute little treats, some good little treats from the breast milk, like all kind of things that I have seen and saved on my Pinterest board, like just everything. After the lactation cookies and the liquid gold pills, the next thing that I did end up trying was body armor and coconut water. So throughout this whole process, I was already drinking water, like producing breast milk you have to drink water 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 all day long a large percentage of your breast milk is water so you have to just drink water 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 you could drink any water of your preference i'm not here to say oh don't drink that water because x y and z like i'm not a nutritionist i'm here to just explain the things that i did and things that you can try to help you increase your milk supply and don't give up just yet and throughout this whole process you're always going to add water into your diet. Simple as that. There's no way around that. I still use the body armors and I still use the coconut water because I, for a fact, know that that helps. Like I realized the difference once I started to add coconut water in the diet. And then I noticed the difference once I started to add body armor as well. Like it was like my milk was just like coming in so much to the point where it was leaking out. So these two things right here, Body armors and coconut water is the bomb. After the body armor and the coconut water, so once I added oatmeal into my diet, I was like, dang, this really works as well. And I just really, really like oatmeal naturally. Like I have always liked oatmeal growing up. In the mornings, if I don't eat it every single morning, I eat it most of the mornings. Like majority of the days out of the week, I'm eating oatmeal for breakfast. Then I had gotten to the point where I was doing all of these things but it just still wasn't enough. Like it was enough to feed her. She was perfectly fine with feeding. But a few weeks ago, I had gotten in this phase where I just wasn't pumping at all. It wasn't because I didn't want to, but it was just because I got discouraged because when I was pumping, I was literally only able to pump one ounce total. Like after I fed her and everything, I was only able to pump out one ounce. So half an ounce, half an ounce, one ounce. And I was just like, you know, I can't, like she's, if I, if I try to feed her one ounce out of a bottle, she gonna look at me like, girl, what is you doing? So I just was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna pump no more. Just because you see me on camera, you know, happy, you know, motivating y'all and everything. All the time, I'm not like that. Like sometimes I may need to take my own advice and I just don't because you know, we're human. Well, even if you pump and only a little bit comes out, that's okay. Because what you're doing, you're triggering your body to make the milk because your body is thinking like, oh my gosh, I have to make this milk for the baby. She, she doesn't have any more left in there, so let me make more. I also want to say that sometimes babies don't even be hungry. They just like the comfort. Like they like the comfort of nursing from you directly. So don't ever think that, oh, she, she's still hungry and I, I gave her this much. Like they don't even be hungry for real. They just really want to bond with you. Maybe you just want mommy to talk to you. Like, hey mommy, you're talking to the people on that camera, but you're not talking to the baby. So yeah, what's up y'all? What's up y'all? My mama be on here giving y'all tutorials and letting y'all know all the tea about them laces. But get into this breast milk, honey. You see my chunky butt. You see my chunky butt, girl. So I also want to say that my baby was born. Mind you, my baby was born at 3 pounds, 15 ounces. And now my baby is 8 pounds and 4 ounces in just 9 weeks. I love that milk, girl. Mm -hmm. Liquid Gold, they were doing the bomb.com but I just needed more, like I just needed more milk. I needed more of it. So the same exact brand that makes the liquid gold, they have these pills called Pump Princess. They have Pump Princess and then you have liquid gold. These two. And by the way, none of this stuff is sponsored. Like this is just all out of our pockets. Like me really, 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 really just spending money on this stuff trying to figure it the freak out facebook and instagram ads they really got me in a chokehold i saw these on my facebook ads i saw these on my instagram ads and i was just like you know what let me just give it a try thank you instagram and thank you facebook the emergency brownies they are from milky mama 
and oh my god i was like you know what let me just eat one and drink a lot of water just to see you know how it actually works and when i i kid you not that same like i i ate one in the morning and i let a few hours go by i kid you not like i had fed her and everything and my supply was just like booming like it was like there I was able to freeze six ounces, y'all. Six ounces. So I was like, you know what? Let me eat the brownie and let me drink this. And let me take my supplements. Like, let me take my pills and do all of that. And let's, let's see what happens. Even if you just drink these, just some regular natural water in the cook, um, and you eat the brownies, you're going to start making that milk. I don't know what they made them brownies with. Of course, they have um, ingredients on there. I don't know what they put in them. I don't know how they did it, but they did that. So staying hydrated, taking your supplements, skin to skin and power pumping are four of the things that I did. And that really, really helped me. Now I wanna get into gadgets i would call them gadgets so i have this is is from hacker i have this is from the brand lv i have this is from the brand nano bebe nano bb and i also have this from mom cozy and i also have a spectra pump those are all of the things that I ended up buying over time because I just became so obsessed with breastfeeding. But my main two pumps that I do use, I do use the Mom Cozy pump and I use the Spectra. One is portable, like one is portable and wearable. And of course, this one is one you have to plug up into the wall and you sit there with it. So the Mom Cozy, it is really, really affordable. And I absolutely adore my Spectra pumps. I love them. I love the different settings that they have, but these are the two settings that I use. You can hear the difference and the numbers change. But when I'm not always able to sit down and pump and I'm on the go, the mom cozies, they come in very, very, very conveniently into my life. My favorite thing about the mom cozy pumps is that they actually are affordable compared to most portable pumps out there. But besides them only being affordable, they actually do get the job done. They have about five different settings that you can change up. I also wanted to attach this video in there just to show you guys what not to do. I don't know what possessed me to take the pump apart while I was trying to pour the milk into the baggie for storage, but please don't do that. Make sure you read the instructions. So right now I have on the Mom Cozy pump. Now I'm going to pause this video and I'm just going to come back and show you guys how much milk I got out. Mm -hmm. 